Hello everyone, this is another one of the Take 5 series and we're going to be focusing on rubrics. A rubric is a tool that lists evaluation criteria for an assignment and they can help students organize their efforts to meet a requirement of an assignment. You can also use the rubrics to explain your criteria for the evaluation of an assignment. What's really great about the rubrics inside a Blackboard is you can associate it right directly in with the assignment. For example, associated rubrics will be visible with um, assignments, essays, some of the test questions such as file response and short answer, blogs and journals, wikis, discussion boards, and forums. So let's go take a look at how to make one right now. First of all, I'm going to go down into the control panel and we're going to open up course tools. Remember that can expand and collapse and we're going to click on rubrics and it's going to take us to the rubric screen. We have an option to create a rubric or import a rubric and notice there's already a rubric created that I made for threaded discussions. So this was very handy. I can make them all ahead of time and then I can associate them later within some of the assignment areas. So I'm going to create a rubric. So we'll be creating one from scratch and I'm going to name this. So I'm going to name it my assignment rubric. You can be very specific about the naming. In the description text box you can provide yourself a description. This description is not visible to students so it's for your eyes only. Now to edit the rubric grid the first thing that you want to notice is that you are measuring levels of achievement and so some of those levels of achievement are already listed for you. In this case it happens to be novice, competent, and proficient. Now you could add um, more rows and make your rubrics longer. You might have some other levels of achievement um, definitions that you'd like to use and you can also add columns. Notice right now the columns are formatting, organization, and grammar. So you could add additional columns for your criteria. Another um, part of the rubric template is you can decide what type of rubric from no points to percentage and you can also uh, choose to show criteria weight or you can unclick this checkbox and not show the um, criteria weight. If you wanted to delete one of these levels of achievement definitions, you could delete this column altogether or you could edit this um, title. Maybe you wanted to call it something else than novice, beginner, and then you could save that. Then you can start to um, come to one of the levels of achievement text boxes and type in your criteria and then you could also put your percentage up here of how you're going to grade. Novice wouldn't be any percent of the grade, competent 50 percent, proficient uh, 100 percent. Now if you've never created a rubric before, um, I will provide some links and some resources for you to check out because rubrics um, are all over um, the internet. There's Ruby Star, that's one we've used in the past. Um, I have some I can provide for you that have been used by some of the instructors for threaded discussions and then you could just copy and paste that information right here into this template and then associate it with your threaded discussion or one of your assignments. And then when you're done, of course you want to um, note if you want to balance your weights, you could balance those proportionately. Um, and then you come up here and you're going to submit this. Once you submit, your rubric will be listed in the rubrics screen. And that's when you are ready to associate the rubric to an assignment. Now, you can have many different rubrics or you can copy this rubric 
say you wanted to copy this rubric make another rubric and then just kind of you might have used the same um, criteria you might have used the same levels of achievement but there's just a few things that you want to edit so I've just made a copy of my threaded discussion rubrics and I could rename that but some of the um, template part I would like to keep so again you can it can save you some time if you were using rubrics that were similar the way that you did the levels of achievement or the weighting and so on and so forth